Today's biology video is about the cerebrum lobes. Or this is parts of the cerebrum which are involved in different functions of the human body. So I have the four lobes here at the top and the great diagram where I have to place them. So I will begin with the frontal lobe here in the blue. Let me place it. Now, the frontal lobe contains most of the dopamine delicate neurons in the cerebral cortex. The dopamine system is associated with rewards, rewards attention, short-term memory tasks, planning and motivation. So, if uh, we need to motivate, we must concentrate on the frontal lobe of the brain, right? So, the next part of the brain, or the next lobe, is the parietal lobe, here in the yellow. The parietal lobe integrates sensory information, including spatial sense and navigation, proprioception, pro proprioception and mechanoreception. So the major sensory inputs from the skin also touch, temperature and pain receptions rely through it. And uh, I'm going to the occipital lobe here in the back of the cerebrum is the occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is the visual processing center, <coughs> center of the brain. There are regions specialized for different visual tasks such as visual spatial processing, color differentiation or recognizing colors and motion perception. It is also said that the information from the eyes is going directly in the occipital lobe. Lizards, reptiles, they don't have cerebrum, so they have only brain stem, where we have that uh, medulla, which is responsible for sight, hearing and motion. And then let me go to the temporal lobe, actually, which was responsible for my previous thought. We'll see why. Now the temporal. Uh, wait for. Okay, I got I got almost good mark, but I'm back to the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is in, involved in processing processing sensory input into a visual memories, language comprehension, emotion association, forming new memories and learning new things. So. The temporal lobe is mostly connected with curiosity and creativity. Two very important things for humans which makes us different from the machines.